So I hope y'all feeling great, you know, so today, bro, coming at y'all with a little, you know, inner child video, you know, the importance of, you know, getting back to your inner child, you know, that inner you, you know what I mean? You know, that, that child that you used to be before everything, before school, you know, before you had a job, before you, you resonated with something outside of just you being you, you know what I mean? And a lot of y'all probably, you know, you're like, okay, like, why well, I got to do that, this and that, you know, because you're in the child, it unlocks things, you know what I mean? It unlocks answers for you in terms of, like, you know, your, 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 your torture. Not torture, I'd say more like, um, you know, stuff that made you feel bad, you know? Stuff that made you feel bad in the past that you, that you can't, you know, tackle at the moment now, you know? That you can't tackle at the moment now. So when that, those things get brought up, you're easily your your emotion your emotions rise up. Your emotions rise up. You're easily manipulated because if someone can anger you, they control you. You know what I mean? Sun just went away, but you know what I mean. You're easily manipulated. You're easily controlled. You know, you're easily to get upset. You're controlled. You know what I mean? So if you don't have control over your emotions, your emotions have control over you. You know what I mean? Think about, like, I used to play basketball, right? You know what I mean? If I'm in a basketball game and I, I get fouled hard and I don't and I don't get a foul call, if I don't keep my emotions intact to say, you know, all right, like, obviously they wilding, you know, not calling a foul, but if I start blaming on the motherfucking ref, if I start wilding on the ref saying, yo, you a bitch, not calling that, this and that, I'm getting a tech. You know what I mean? So I'm not really benefiting nobody. You know what I mean? I'm not benefiting myself. I'm not benefiting the team doing that because I don't. I'm letting my emotions rile me up. You know, it happens all the time in sports. You know what I mean? You see two athletes going at it. You know, like you know, wide receivers like Odell and Josh Norman. They let their they let their uh, emotions rattle them up. You know what I'm saying? Then they start scrapping during the game. You know what I mean? That's not doing nothing for the team. Yeah, it looked cool for entertainment. It looked cool for the camera. You know, that might be what niggas want to see. But you're not helping yourself because first off, you're getting fined. Second off, you're getting taken out the game. Third off, you might hurt yourself. Fourth off, you know, you're not helping your team win. They need you out there, Odell. So, you know, doing shit like that, you know what I mean? That's basically, you know, what happens when you can't control your own emotions. You know what I mean? You, you, you don't do, you don't, you know, you haven't connected with your inner child. And the reason why, you know, you want to connect to your inner child because you, you're, your soul, when you're in a child, you, I got some notes right here, so I'm, I'm gonna just leave it right here. So, you know, your soul is in depth. You know, when you have when you're in your inner child, your soul is 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 fresh. It's in depth. You know, and if your soul is not in depth at the moment now, as you grow, you haven't done any work with your inner child. You know what I mean? And really, to do work with your inner child, it requires shadow work. You know I mean, you have to get back to where you used to be at, you know what I mean? So, you know, a lot of people lose touch with themselves as a child, you know? And the reason why is because, you know, it either might be they were put in an environment, that's most of us, you know, we put in an environment like school, something like that, or even, you know, that neighborhoods that we grow up in, you know, if you don't grow up in a, in a good neighborhood, if you don't grow up in a good childhood, you're going to lose touch with your inner child, you know what I mean? You're going to lose touch to what you really want to do with yourself. I mean, you're going to be forced into a society and an environment that you're put in. You know what I mean? So, you know, a lot of people actually lose touch with their with themselves as a child. And, you know, a lot of people lose knowledge of themselves. You know what I mean? When you're in a child, that's your that's your knowledge of yourself. You know, a lot of people, you know, what they mostly do, mostly do is they paint a picture. You know what I'm saying? When they lose touch of their inner child, they now paint a picture of what they want everyone else to see of them. You know, it's like they're putting on a whole costume. You know what I mean? When you lose touch in a child, you're not going to do the things that you really want to do. It's like a little girl that, 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 you know, that loves to like, you know what I'm saying? That loves to like, I don't know, what's some lame shit that a little girl could do? Like, that loves to just like, I don't know, play video games. You know what I mean? As a female, like, 
maybe now in society, but growing up for me, like females playing video games was never a thing. Never. Like I never knew a female playing video games. You know what I'm saying? I, I it was very rare. Very, very rare. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, growing up it was all about, you know, worried about celebrities or makeup or clothing and, and nails and all this other bullshit that society paints for, for, you know, like females as an example. To, to, to make them feel like, okay, this is what I have to be like, you know, but in reality, you were growing up all your life playing video games with your older brothers and you like to do that, but you wouldn't tell your friends that, you feel what I'm saying? That's basically what I'm getting at, you know? So when you're first born, you know, most of us are mostly right, right brained, I mean, right brain dominant, right brain dominant. So what that basically means is, you know, you're creative, you know, when you're right brain dominant, you're fully creative. You know what I mean? It's, it's, that's your creative side of your brain. Left side is your logic side of your brain. So a lot of us when we're born, not all of us, but most of us when we're born, we're right brain dominant. You know, if you're a lefty, I think it's a fact if you're a lefty, you're actually automatically born right brain dominant. You know, so, um, you know, like I said, your right brain, it represents creativity and art. You know what I mean? You know? The reason why you need to get back into your inner child and your passions is because it stimulates your mind on how things used to be for you, you know, it stimulates your mind. So, you know, when you were a child, like you said, you know, like I just said, um, you know, you might have loved playing video games. Like I, love, I used to love playing video games. You know what I mean? For example, for me, I used to love playing video games. You know what I'm saying? So, so when I tapped into my inner child and went back and played some more video games after I stopped for a while... I was like, damn, bro, I used to really love being on here, you know? And then and then it stimulates in your, on your brain, your subconscious mind stimulates, damn, I used to love doing this. I used to love doing that. I used to love painting. I used to love drawing. You know, I used to love singing to myself in the mirror. Why did I stop? And when you ask that question, your subconscious mind will ask that question. When that question comes up, you're going to find the answer for yourself. You're going to start putting the keys together, the the, the puzzle to, to what, what happened. And that leads to your trauma. You know, everyone has that certain kind of trauma that got them out of what they currently were doing when they were doing when they were a little kid, when they were a child. You know what I mean? For me, you know, I was always on the game. 24-7, I was on that bitch. 24-7. You know what I mean? I was on the game from when I woke up. <laughs> nah, not when I woke up. I say probably like when I went to school, came back, I was on the game. You know what I mean? So, you know, my, my dukes and my pops would always tell me, you know, because I was also playing basketball on the side. They would tell me, if you spend all your time on the game, you're not going to be good at ball, you know. And if you spend all the time on your game, you, you're going to grow up and you're going to be playing the game when you're 30 years old in your mom's crib. You know what I mean? That's the shit that they would tell me. And that's some real shit. You know what I mean? That's some real shit. But at the time, I didn't want to hear that. At the time, I was like, nah, y'all wrong. Y'all wrong. I'm going to do my shit. I'm going to get on my shit, which I always knew I kind of wanted to do. I wanted to get on my shit, but like... You could tell yourself that, but it's a difference between telling yourself that and showing it. You know what I mean? If you can't show that shit to other people, obviously they're going to say that about you. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, I was like, nah, nah, nah. I, I was in denial, shit denial. And at the time, that shit was getting me mad. Every time they would come and say some shit like that, I'd get tight. I'd get tight. And what i do, just keep playing the game more. Like, I wouldn't change. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's like a trauma for me. Like, if, if someone was to tell me, like, randomly be like, oh... You a gamer, you not about to do shit. I probably would have got tight at that time. You know what I mean? Now, I dealt with my shit. Like, I don't give a fuck. But that's just one example. You know what I mean? So, you know. um, So, basically, yeah. that um, Tapping into your inner child stimulates your mind and how things used to be. It remembers your childhood traumas that separated you to put you... That separated you, you know? The childhood trauma. So, that trauma that I had, you know, what... Trauma that you might have, you know, you might put on a mask, you might put on a, a, an image to make it seem like you don't really live this type of life that, that you know, that that you that you that you do live and then you go out and you live a different life. You know what I mean? So it requires shadow work, you know, to really go in and, and really deal with and, and cope with, you know, the things that cause trauma for you. You know, it could be anything, you know. And anything really is, is the cause of the trauma because think about it like, you know, you could think about a time maybe your mom your mom hit your pops. Uh, excuse me, your, your pops hit your mom. Or, 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 or you know, like your, your, your pops left the crib when you was a youngin' or, or 
you know, something just tragic or like something that you remember happening, you know, and you're going to think to yourself, okay, what was I doing at that time? You probably was, you, you probably was singing and then you heard some shit, you know what I mean? You probably was just dancing all the time and you heard some shit, you know what I mean? It was just something, something has that trauma for you, you know what I mean? Something has that feeling for you of, of type negativity, you know, that got you out of your inner child. It could have been your, one, your environment or a traumatizing event. You feel what I'm saying? So shadow work is required to, to 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 help you out with that, to cope with that. You know, shadow work requires accountability. And that's why a lot of people won't do shadow work. That's why a lot of people won't, you know, that's why a lot of people can't do shadow work. You know what I mean? Because when you tell someone to 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 comprehend something, you know, to architect their 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 thoughts, architect their their and, and rationalize their thoughts, they feel a personal attack. You know what I mean? They feel a personal attack, you know? Think about all the times, like, you might have tried to help out a friend, you know what I'm saying, and they had something going on, and you was trying to give them real advice because it was real shit, like, real shit. You know, people, this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. People rather hear what they want to hear rather than hearing the truth, you know what I'm saying? I Back then, I'd rather hear my, my parents tell me, you know, oh, keep playing the game, you're going to be all right, than to hear the truth of saying, oh, you keep playing that game, you're going to be trash at ball. It was the truth. It's the truth. You know what I mean? So people would rather feel good and hear what they want to hear rather than hearing the truth. It's a fact. All right? So when you tell someone to rationalize their thoughts, you know, to, to architect their thoughts, they feel attacked. You know, I remember one of my mans, you know, um, you know, me and my boys, we was all chilling. One of my mans, yo, we was just telling him about, you know, how he just want to fuck all the time. Like, he just want to fuck. Like, that's all he trying to do. He don't give a fuck about nothing. He don't really give a fuck about... If if he gets to fuck, he feel good. Everything else in his life is second. You know what I'm saying? And and I get it. We was all at that stage one time. You know, so when, when me and my boy stopped doing shit like that, and we was trying to tell him what's up, you know, and the reason why you can't just live your life like that, he felt attacked. You know what I mean? We was trying to put him on to better. He felt attacked. You know, he wanted to try to tell us, you know, oh... You know, this is what I like to do. Y'all like to do y'all shit. You know, y'all like to do this. Y'all like to do that. But this is what I like to do. But in reality, he was liking to do shit that was getting him nowhere. We could like to do something. But if it's getting you nowhere, then then what's the point? Are you really doing it? You know? That's like me saying, that's like me saying, like, like, like. That's like me saying, bro, I like to smoke all day. But is smoking all day getting me anywhere? Nah. You know, that's an easy example. I'm trying to think of some hard shit, but like, you know, just just like if you doing if you like to do some shit that's not gonna get you nowhere, bro, then you're wildin'. Like, yeah, we all like to do shit that that on our free time, this and that. You know what I mean? But he this nigga lived and died by fucking bitches. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, he felt attacked that we were trying to help him out. Like we wasn't trying we wasn't he 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 took it as that we were hating on him. Nigga, what? I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, my nigga. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Like, nigga took it as we was trying to hate on him and try to stop him from fucking bitches because we was hating that he was getting bit. Like, bro, nobody give a fuck. Niggas want to look out for you, bro. That's that's what that's that's basically what happened. You know, people feel personal attack when you try to rationalize their thoughts. You know, rationalize what they got going on. All right. So, you know, why? You know, like I said, to, to 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 connect with your inner child, you know, get back into your inner child, you know, your your inner child passions will link you to your traumas. And, you know, like I said before, your subconscious thoughts will say, damn, I used to love doing this. Damn, I used to love, you know, going to the park all the time. Damn, I used to love playing my piano. Damn, why the fuck I stopped? Damn. Oh, now I remember, now I remember, that was the day Pac got shot. Oh, okay, now I remember. Oh, okay, you see what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So people don't know how to go into themselves and deal with that, you know? You know? And, 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 and you know, that's basically your limbic system, you know? Your limbic system controls your your uh, your emotions and your and your memories. You know what I mean? That's your limbic system. You have to know how to control your limbic system. Right? 
you know? Your limbic system controls you if you don't know how to control it, you know? Just like everything else in life. If you don't know how to control your thoughts, your thoughts control you. If you don't know how to control your eating habits, your eating habits control you. It's everything. You have to control these things, you know what I mean? So, you know, if you if you don't want to identify what, what that trauma is, you don't want to identify what that hurt, that thing that, that makes you feel the way you feel, your limit will control you. Simple as that. You know, most people are controlled by their limit. You know what I mean? And, and, and the thing is, you know, people are controlled by their limit for a long time. You know what I mean? They're controlled by their emotions for a long time. Like I said before, you know, if something else can get you mad, if things and, 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 and shit like, 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 if things can easily get you mad, that anger controls you. Whatever it is, if I can get you mad every day by saying shit, by saying whatever, I'm controlling you. I'm controlling you. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's why I say it's a difference in vibration levels. If you can't understand this shit and you can't even, you know, identify your own feelings, how the fuck you going to cope with someone else's when they try to t say some shit? How the fuck you gonna under how are you gonna understand someone else when you don't even understand yourself? I'm so I'm trying to say, you know what I mean. So stop letting your feelings control you. You need to control your limit, control your thoughts, and control you know what's going on with yourself. Now, you know, what's next? What's next? You know, a lot of people. This this is this is what what happens in society, really. You know, you know their limit controls them. You know, so then eventually they don't ever cope with this shit. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, they, they end up growing up. They ended up feeling like, I right, I got nothing to really live for, this and that. You know, and the next thing you know, they have a child. And what that child does for them, it, it helps them get reborn. You know, what they do is use their child to help them cope with their shit. They use their child to help them to try to say that the, their child is going to fix their shit. You know what I mean? You know, think about, you know, maybe some of y'all pops. Some of y'all pops would probably want you to be the NBA player, the best NBA player of your life, of, 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 of the generation. Just wanted you to be in the NFL, this and that. They just wanted you to do that, you know. And they, they it felt like, you know, they wanted it more than you sometimes. Like, how that possible? Because they, they had trauma with themselves that they didn't reach the goals that they wanted, so they want to do it for you to try to help them out, to help them feel better. You get what I'm saying? It's a cycle, bro. It's a cycle. You don't know how to break the cycle. The cycle gonna keep going, and you're not even gonna be aware of that you're in the cycle. You feel what I'm saying? Straight like that. So, you know, you need to recognize your triggers. All right, you know, recognize what gets you upset. You know, recognize your triggers and recognize how to cope with your triggers. You know, recognize what triggers your emotions. A lot of y'all, 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 to deal with your triggers, to deal with your emotions, to cope it with, to cope it with, you do toxic coping, toxic coping. You know what I mean? So you cope with your emotions by drinking to cope with it, smoking to cope with it, eating to cope with it, hating on someone else to cope with your own shit. Right? Even some people be fighting to cope with their shit. You feel what I'm saying? So... You know, that's toxic ways to cope with your shit. You're not getting nowhere by doing those things. You, you're you just creating more toxic shit for yourself. You know what I mean? That's why shadow work is what you're supposed to do. Shadow work is how you get rid of these things, you know? So as a child, you know, your right brain dominant and your pineal gland and your right brain are both functioning. They're functioning well. You know what I mean? So they're naturally functioning. They're naturally function functioning. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, think about a child's imagination. A child's imagination just runs wild. It just goes. It just runs wild. You know, you you can't control a child's imagination. They they'll be at a motherfucking supermarket. Think that shit is a super super game. They think that shit is a game. That's why they be running up and down that bitch, running up and down that bitch. They don't even know what the fuck they in there for. They they have a full imagination of where they at. You know what I mean? So when you're a child, you know you you your pineal gland. You know, and your right, your right brain are working together. They're normally naturally functioning, so it creates a whole. Their their creative system is crazy. They 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 create a world for themselves without even knowing that they're doing that. You know what I'm saying? It's natural. You know, 
and then environments like school or, or, or a job, you know, something that you resonate with, you know, a lot of people will say, oh, I got a nice job, this and that, you know what I mean? They end up going into the left brain because they're so logical. They can't imagine things for themselves. You know, they resonate with one thing. You know what I mean? So, you know, this is all, you know, what, what, why it's important to really, you know, tackle your inner child. Like, tackle your inner child, for real. You know what I mean? Get back to doing things that you used to do. You know what I mean? That don't mean, you know, that don't mean, you know, if you like to motherfucking play video games all day to go do that all day. Nah, but nigga, even me, I be hopping on the sticks sometimes here to there when I got free time. Hopping on the sticks sometimes. You know what I mean? Because I, I used to like doing that a lot. So I hop, it on, I hop on the sticks for a little bit. I'm back to doing me. But, you know, I know how to have a yin and yang balance that have my inner child out and, and, and still you know do what i gotta do you know what i mean a lot of people want to grow up for what for what like what can't you be an inner child for you know there's a difference between being mature and then and then and then you know um there's a bit difference between being mature and, and and like you know realizing that you know hold on i'm, I'm bad I, that's a this is a bad comparison Anyways, <laughs> forget what I'm saying. I'm talking bullshit right now. But listen, um, keep going with your inner child, bro. Like, for me, bro, I love watching anime. Ain't no nigga gonna tell me I can't, like, I watch anime all day. I love watching anime. I used to watch this shit as a child. I used to watch Dragon Ball Z. I love anime. You know what I mean? So I'm never gonna let go of that. You know what I'm saying? Why, 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 what is the whole, like, this isn't mature thing? That's what I'm kind of getting at. Like, you know, like, a lot of people would like to say, you know, why are you still playing video games all day? It's not, you, you're mature now. Like, you know, do I think you should be really playing video games all day when you don't have other things in your life put together? No, I don't think you should be doing that. But if you got shit going on, you got your life put together, you making money, you spiritually happy, play your game, nigga. Play your game, nigga. Don't, you know what I'm saying? If you got shit going for yourself, play your game. But if you just out here, you know, nine to five in, you don't real, really got no real money, you on the game every day, nah, that's not what I'm encouraging. You know what I mean? So, you know, tap in with your inner child, bro. That's how you could do your work. That's how you can, you know, get over that trauma. You know, that's how you could reach, you know, real happiness. That's how you could reach real control of yourself, control of your limit. Limbic, <laughs> my fault, limbic, so you get control of your limbic, you know what I mean, last thing you really, you know, to get through something, you must get through something to get to the gold, you know what I mean, I know y'all used to play Sonic, I used to play Sonic, right, you had to get through the boss to get to to the to the gold, to, to win the game, you gotta get through your shit to, to, to win yourself, win yourself over, you know, and a lot of y'all will deny it a lot of y'all will get all offended a lot of y'all will you know feel like attacked because i'm telling y'all to, to to go within and work on yourself but hey results will show results will show go away go about it your way let's see what happens you know but um that being said bro Appreciate y'all for watching the video. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Appreciate y'all for showing love, support, liking, all that. You know, I see it all. I see it all. Um, you know, I definitely want to appreciate all y'all for that feedback, all that shit, bro. Negative or positive, lay it on me. I love it. <laughs> I love it. But you know, with that being said, bro, I I enjoy. I um hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, tap in with you in the child, but for real, you know what I mean. You can be a kid and still be an adult. You know what I mean. It's important, all right? I'm going to catch y'all. It's up. Stuck. I'm out of here.